In today's video, we are going to look at online programs. It's a different service to online coaching. Think of online coaching as a one to one service where you'll be tweaking and changing uh, plans for individual people. Think of online programs of creating a program once and that will serve a section of your target market and you can create loads of them. So to get this going, what we need to do is edit site so click the button that says edit site let the editor load okay and uh, that took about 30 seconds maybe a minute to load um, and we want this to load because we are going to add the online program app so in the top left hand corner you're going to see an icon with four squares that's the app market click on that and then the second option down where it says app market, click on that. And if we type online programs into the search bar, okay, the first option, Wix online programs, is what we want to install. So we'll select that and press add to site. And then it will take a couple of minutes to just install that on your website. It goes through 10 points. So we can see it progress in there. And it really is a fantastic option. It works very well on the mobile phone so people can use this on the go. You can also access it and manage the dashboard in the Wix owner app. So you can do that on the go as well. Okay, and there it is. Once that's popped in, what you'll see, if we look at the pages, so back again in the top left hand corner, click on the icon that looks like a page. It's going to show you all of your website pages. And don't forget, we used a template that was geared towards cryptocurrency. So we'll either be changing these pages or deleting them and adding new ones. Um, but down at the bottom, you're going to see the program pages that have now been added to your website. So they weren't there before we installed this app. Now it gives you three pages. Let me just zoom out of this. So in the top left hand corner, you're going to see the magnifying icon. Just reduce that a bit so you can see the whole page. And I'll click the controls so that that removes as well. Okay, so what Wix have done, I've given you three programs to start off with. And this is how it would look in the desktop version if you wanted to check in the tablet version hit the icons in the top middle of the screen. And if you wanted to check on the mobile version, this is what it looks like here. Okay, so we'll go back to desktop. And just to show you the other pages, once you do click on a page or a program even, it's gonna take you to the program page, which is down here. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it gives you more detail about that particular program. You will be able to click on this. And if you hit settings, you'll be able to change certain things about this. So let me just show you, give you an idea. And you can run through this yourself. But you can change the layout, how you want it to appear. You can change what sections are being shown. You can change what's displayed. So one thing we wanna make sure we remove is join via the app. We don't want people to use the mobile app version. You may want the instructors shown, which will be you, unless you're having somebody else work on your website and offer or help any of these service, with any of these services. Okay, allow them to share it socially participants. So it's up to you whether you want to show how many people are in this program or not. Nine times out of 10, my clients prefer that not to be shown. Um, you're going to want a join button. And these other areas here, just decide on whether you want to show that or not in the in this particular page. Then on the design, you can go through and change what it looks like. And you can change what the buttons are. 
uh, how they're labeled. Okay, so the other page to look at, if we click on the page icon, is the payment page. So they would look at your list of programs. They would then select the program that they're looking at, that they're interested in, and it'll bring them through to that page. And then if there's a payment on it, it will take them through to this page. And at the moment, obviously, because we haven't paid for a premium Wix plan, we can't take payments, but that's what it would look like. So I am going to go back over to the dashboard and press refresh, and we should see a tab pop up in here called Online Programs. And we're going to configure a program or go through uh, the details of these programs so you know how to create your own. And there it is, it's just underneath the blog. Okay, so when you click on this button, this is the page that you're going to see. Let's press get started. So it's going to give us options. We can start one from fresh or we can pick something that's already in there. Definitely have a look at those because it gives you a lot of ideas of what you can do in here. We're going to go with the fitness challenge and press next. Okay, and you can pick any one of these templates that they've already given you. What's this? The Express Workout Program. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. 30 days, the 10 best exercises to do at home. Press finish. Okay. So some of the information here will need to be edited and changed. So in the top right hand corner, press edit. Now, basic information. Click that arrow. Give your program a title. When you have got quite a few programs going, you may want to split them out into categories. If that's the case, you know, give it a category and this tab down here on the left hand corner is where you can manage uh, add remove categories. This is the image for the, the main image for the program. Now, when it says add alt text, this helps with your SEO, so your search engine optimization. And basically, what it's doing is telling Google or other search engines what this picture is. So if it was a white cat with blue eyes laying on a wooden floor, that's what you'd want to type in there. Um, but in this case, we're going to type something like fitness man um, or fit man doing a side plank with elevated legs and arms. OK, so make sure that you add those little details and you'd press save. Now, this is going to show us the media manager because we're going to have to select an image to change what's shown here. We can also get to the media manager by typing up here, media manager. OK, and it's just where your website holds all of your images, all of your documents, all of your videos, anything that you want to use in your site. That's where it's held. But we're going to just press update and we're going to update it with an image. So it's going to take us over to the media manager. Again, at the moment, you will have zero images in there, but you can upload media. So if you was to click that link, generally you'll be uploading from your computer. You can drag and drop files into here. Um, if you have another Wix account, another Wix website that's got a media manager and there's images in there that you want to use, you can click that and it will, I'll give you a quick show. It will show all of the images. Uh, all of the websites, and then you can click through to these. You can connect your Google Drive and lots of other things as well. But nine times out of 10, it's going to be uploaded from your um, computer. And in the Wix Owners app, I did show you that you can access the Media Manager there. So if you wanted to upload directly from your mobile phone, you can, instead of transferring it somewhere else and then grabbing it from your computer and doing it this way. So whatever way suits you. Now, if you don't have any images, and we don't at the moment, um, I'm going to select media from Wix. They do have a lot of free images and videos that you can use. 
So I'm going to type fitness correctly and see what it has for me. I'm going to pick any image that relates to my program and press add to page. Now, ideally, you want something that really does relate to that program or even an image of you. That could be cool. OK, next down, we've got a description. So you want to give it something worth um, writing. We've got a character limit of 1500 there. People have not purchased yet, so you want to make this a little bit compelling. So what I would advise is take your time and write it out yourself or use ChatGPT to help you with this. So if you used to copy this text, bring it over to ChatGPT, um, and I'm going to say, make this a compelling program description. Um, and then you can add more blurb before we hit the command button. So something like for home, Workouts uh, geared towards maybe busy people who don't have time to visit a gym. Okay, and then I'll paste in that text and press enter and see what it brings. I personally hate the word unleash, unlock now because it's so overused so you don't have to use it exactly as it is in fact please don't it's really nice to go through and change it and make it your own so let's see i probably forget that first sentence now we've got a 1500 character limit i'm going to copy this and see if it lets me put it all in there oops Paste it back into that description. Yep, it does. So read through that and see if you like it. Um, so for me, introducing our revolutionary home workout program, especially designed for busy individuals who crave the benefits of a regular fitness routine but struggle to make it to the gym, say goodbye to the limitations of gym schedules and hello to the 10-day invigorating full body. So I may just get rid of say goodbye because there are going to be other services on here that you may want to be promoting the gym. So we don't want to go too against the gym. So um, delete say hello to 10 invigorating full body exercises that can be seamlessly integrated into your daily routine. So they get really adjective and descriptive and sometimes it just doesn't need all of that extra fluff. So I might get rid of the word seamlessly. So it can be integrated into your daily routine, requiring minimal to no equipment. Okay, not bad. So that's what I would do. I'd go through and just make sure it's not robotic, it's not over the top and it, it sounds human. Make sure you get rid of these uh, speech marks at the end. Embrace the convenience of our home workout and redefine, blah, 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 elevate your life one rep at a time. I don't like the word elevate anymore, but it's completely up to you. It's just because you see it so much now. So when you're happy with the description, you can assign yourself as the instructor or anyone else that you're going to be putting in your website. Press save. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to have to do anything here, but if you was to connect um, some services to this program, so let's say in you offer a group coaching session once a week, um, then it would be good to know who's instructing, who's taking that session. So that's where you definitely start to put instructors in. And also, if you was to press manage, you can improve your profile, change your images, and add other people if that's what you wanted to do. Now, once you're happy with the basics here, press save. We'll take you back to the program settings. And what we'll do next is look at the visibility and pricing. So at the moment, it's set to a public program. It's free and unlimited people can join. 
So you can change that and limit how many people join, but we're going to leave it to unlimited. Um, you can have a price on this. So there could be a one-time payment and it could also be included in a pricing plan. So for example, um, you could have services, personal training services on your website. Um, and you could have a pricing plan that includes maybe 10 personal training sessions plus access to this program. Okay, so we'll look at the pricing plans later, but that's those are the options there. And we're going to leave it as a free program for now. And then visibility wise, at the moment, and most popular, it's going to be a public program where anyone can view the program on your website. It's shown there in the list of programs and anyone can join it. The other option is if it was private, anybody can view that program, but it would have a link that says um, request access. And once they click that, then you'll be notified and that it's up to you whether you're going to allow them into the program or not. And then the third option is to have a secret program and that means it will not show on your pro on your website. Anybody that joins that program is going to have to be specifically invited by you. So to do that, you will need them to be a site member first, not just a contact. They'll have to be a site member. So somebody that has created an account on your website and, um, you know, they've got a password to log in and they can see certain pages. This would be the kind of thing that they can see. So we're going to keep that to public and most of them will be public. Press save. And then if we look down further, the next part is scheduling. So before I click on that link, let's um, go back to the program. You can use these parts at the top or you can just hit the back arrow. Okay, so at the moment it's uh, self-paced and people can just go through the different steps one after another. Um, let's go back to edit so we can see the scheduling. So the different options are, first of all, in the self-paced option, there can be a time limit or no time limit. This one's set to 30 days um, and you can hide future steps. So what that means is they won't be able to skip ahead and look at what's happening at the end of the program. They have to go through it methodically and they won't be able to see the next step until they've completed the current step. OK, so we're going to have keep it in a fixed order and we are going to hide the future steps. But because I want to preview it to you. I'm not going to hide the future steps, but that option's there for you. Now, the other option is to have it scheduled. So just bear in mind that the ongoing option is going to be removed. So don't use that. Um, if it was scheduled, that means that particular steps are going to only be visible on particular days. So let's see. It was 30 days, right? That's fine. And this is where you would have specific days. So be careful with that unless you've got a load of people coming to enroll on a certain day, then it could limit the people or the amount of people that can join this program because it may not fit in with their schedule. But just be aware that that can be done. Now, if I was going to do something like that, let's say we're going to start it there and we're going to choose the end date, 23rd, let's say roughly 30 days after, we still, we're not going to hide the future steps for the purpose of this video. I'm going to press save. So your section descriptions won't be saved. Let's press confirm, that's fine. We'll lose all of that because it's not now working in sections. So as you can see, it's going to place everything on a calendar and then it's up to you to move them. 
Do we not move them that way? Yeah, to move them and line them up how it's going to work for you. So to get to the next week, it doesn't allow you to drag it through and it won't load up the next week. What you would have to do is click on that particular step, press edit and change what day that particular step is going to fall on through um, using this and selecting on this calendar. OK, so that's all that's happening in that particular step. So if you're happy with that, you would press save. OK, and there was an issue. So at the moment, this is what it's looking like. If we go back to edit um, and we wanted scheduling, we wanted to change that back. We have lost the descriptions. Okay, but let's press save because we're going to keep it as self-paced now. So by changing it back, you're going to lose the timings that we, we, we didn't really change. But if you had set that all up perfectly, you'd lose that. Okay. We've got workout number four. Okay, so I see what it's done there. It's, it's just put everything in one. So you would then have to go and section everything out. So if that was workout three, maybe workout four needs to go now under here. So to move that or change that, you would press edit. And just tell it what section it needs to go under. Press save. And that should now be, there we go, under there. So yes, when you jump between a scheduled or a self-paced program, it's going to lose some of that formatting. So just be aware of that. Um, now, let me go into one of these so you can get a good idea of what can be done. So you can add images, you can add videos. If you press the add icon, these are images, these are videos. So you can embed that video straight from YouTube. So if you do have lots of things on YouTube that are going to work well in this plan, feel free to use it. Um, if you was going to upload, it would have to be in your media manager. Now remember, there is a certain amount you can have on a free account and depending on what premium program you choose or premium plan you choose from Wix, there's going to be a limit. However, if you were streaming it or dragging it over, storing it in YouTube, that bypasses that problem there. But the other issue is then that that information is freely available to anybody who discovers it on YouTube. So that's what you need to think about in the future. Now, if we went over to media from Wix, I'm going to type fitness again, just so we can get something that makes sense. Here we go. So this particular exercise may be bicycle crunches. We've got the video. We wanted that higher up really on the page. It should have gone where I asked it to go. And this is the beauty of technology. Sometimes it can be temperamental. So let's go again, press add, video, upload. Media from Wix. Fitness. That was the one we wanted. I'm going to add that to the page and hopefully it lands where it's supposed to. Perfect. So I'm just scrolling down to the bottom to get rid of this. If you click on the video, press delete. Perfect. Now, you can put a description in there of this particular exercise. If this is an actual workout, 
this video may have you performing the entire workout. Um, so make sure any text you put there relates to the video and it makes sense for this particular step. Other things that you can add in here are, you can add a table. Okay, so you may want to put in reps, sets, descriptions, um, uh, wait, maybe rest, how much uh, the rest period is. You may want to do something like that. Let's see what other things you can add in here. And um, so images, you can add a divider. You can add a SoundCloud track if you wanted to. A GIF, these are really good. I use lots of those. And you can add a file. So there may be a need for a PDF download or a Word document that they need buttons that may link to other places. You may want to take them to pages on your website for a further explanation. Possibly you've got a blog about the benefits of a bicycle crunch or an audio file. So look through those things. You probably won't be using code. But look through those things and see if there's any way that you can make this step more appealing, more attractive and more useful to the person in the program. So if we was to press save, um, what was that? That was workout one, right? Okay, so before you can preview it, you're going to have to come over and publish these changes that we made so that it's all visible on the web. So that's been published now. Let's go, come back over to the dashboard and refresh that. Okay, so now it's given us the option to preview what this looks like. Now, please bear in mind, this is very higgledy-piggledy, and you would want to separate these out into different sections. But for now, it's giving you an option of the visitor view. So you can see here that that may not be the best image. Um, for the desktop version. And if you click at the top to the participant view, it will show you we've only got three steps. So you definitely want to section that out. And in day one, we've got all of the 28 steps. We click on this. It's going to show us what that looks like. The participant can press play. OK, and this is how it's looking currently. Once they completed that step, then they'll be able to look at the next step. If you have the, if you have configured it so that the future steps are hidden. I believe we left that all off. Brilliant. So it allows us to just look through each step. So while you're creating your program, if you are deciding to have it as a self-paced one where people can just flip through and um, they don't have to do it on any particular day, while you're creating your program, keep that future steps hidden toggle off so that you can come and see what it looks like. Okay, and if we was to just look at what a section looks like, you can break down each section and just give them an overview of what they're going to expect. So when you've had a look and you're happy with that, you would press the X uh, icon in the top right hand corner to close the preview and bring you back to the program. Now, because it's very higgledy piggledy. What I'm going to do is go back to programs. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to go back to fitness challenge. I'm going to press next. I'm going to hit that one again that we picked in the first place. I'm going to press finish. Okay, so this is scheduled out nicer. 
I'm going to preview it so we can look at what it would look like because that other one, once we switch between the two styles, lost all its formatting. Okay, so that's what it looks like as a visitor before they've joined. Once they've joined, you get a nice overview. Definitely put a little bit more information in the overview. Okay, workout one. If you click on that, you get another overview. I'm a big fan of images and videos, so try and put some stuff in there that makes it more than just text. You can press continue and it should take you through to the next part, which is here. Complete the step. Uh, it won't allow us, it has to be on the live. So we'll have to flick through on the left hand side. But that's how it would look. Okay, if we were going to look then at workout two, we've got the warm up, the workout, and the stretches. Workout three, same kind of thing, but it will have different content in there. Now, I'm just going to see if there's something already made. Let's go back to programs. Let's create a new one. Let's look at a nutrition plan because they possibly have scheduled that on days. Let's try this. Add more fruit and veggies. Press finish. Yeah, perfect. So they have done that. So if we preview this, okay, so that's the, the overview. Once you've joined the program, okay, it schedules it into days. Now, I don't think this is set on specific days. I think it's just scheduled over a certain amount of days, so over 30 days rather than this starts on the 5th of December then it goes for 30 days. So that's a really good option because anyone can join your program at any time. They don't all have to wait for a specific day. So this is a little nicer. It's a bit more visually engaging. If we were to have a look at this, but I would have preferred to have some images there. But you can see how that all works. And I just want to double check. We can't complete the step. Yeah, we can't complete a step in the preview. Get the app. We're going to get rid of that because we don't want people to get confused and start going over there. Okay, so that's what you can do. Click through the different weeks. It looks like we've just got check-ins here. Now, the other thing that you can do is add, add extra steps. If you wanted to do one from scratch, you would press add step. And you would just name your step, say what week and what day that step's got a fall on, and then go ahead and continue to add the content that's going to make this step what it is. The other thing that you can do is add a quiz. So if there is any reason that you want to grade your people or you want to make sure that they're digesting the information, this probably isn't going to be relevant to a workout, but what you can do is use this as feedback. So, um, how did you get on? So, you can find out if the workout's too hard for them um, or it's too easy for them, even. So, you could add questions. Okay, and they can be open-ended questions. If you just want a lot of feedback that you can you can sift through and um, pull out what's valuable. You could have a number, multiple choice, upload a file. That's really useful. So you may want people to upload, for example, a video of them doing a squat if you wanted to give them some pointers and make this program a little bit more engaging. Remember, though, you are going to have to respond to that, so be careful on what you're asking. But if we was to look at, for example, um, multiple choice. No, let's make it a single. Even though we have different options for answers, it has to be a single. Um, let's delete that one. 
So if you click on the question and press settings, you can just type your question here. Um, how did you find the workout? A question mark, you could say something like, too hard, too easy, or just right. There is no um, correct answer here, so you could press save, or you could add another question. It could be open-ended, so they can write answers in their own words. Or let's go again. Um, no, let's delete this. Let's go with an open-ended question. Um, was there any exercise that you struggled with or that you um, found challenging? Can't type today. And why? Okay, so they can give you some feedback there. And if you was to press save, um, they're not going to require a certain amount of correct answers to get passed or get graded or be able to continue in the program. So we'll just press save as it is. Okay, so you may want to Obviously, this isn't a workout one, but it's just giving you some ideas of how you can use these quizzes um, and how you can get a lot more engagement going on. Now, um, you would publish this for it to be live on your website. So if we was to do that now, press publish and if we go over to the website, view it. Now, I don't think we have a link anywhere that allows us to get to the online program page. Okay, so we'd get rid of the app button when I show you how to change the navigation bar. We don't want that showing. Um, and then just another point as this loaded, this is a GIF or a video in the background, I won't know until we go into the editor. But even though it looks fantastic, um, it did take a little while to load. So you want to be aware of those things there and maybe have fancy things a bit further down the page because there's nothing worse than when you click on a website and there's the, the top of the home page is blank for quite some time. It will give visitors the feel that something's wrong. And you've only got a couple of seconds before they they give up. So that's just a point to bear in mind. Now, because I haven't added it into the navigation, I do know that all of the online programs have an extension called Challenges. So this should open up the page. There it is. So we've got this on the go. We'd want to design it so it's nice. If we was to click and join it because it's free, we can do. All right, it's going to make you, so you will have to create an account. Okay, and now I'm in as a participant. And I should have some kind of quiz. There we go. So I'm here. So this has been scheduled, but I can't complete this step until this particular day. Mm. But if I change that setting, this is what the, the quiz or the feedback would look like. Now, I want to change that so you can understand the engagement um, feature, the, the way you can use those quizzes to engage with your clients or the people in here, the participants. 
So I'm going to go down and I'm just going to move this quiz to day one. It will allow me then. So now I should be able to go to my website. I should be able to refresh the page. There we go. So I can complete this quiz now. So it's today. Get creative. I've looked at the step. I'm completing the step. Fantastic. I want to go to the next step. And here's the quiz. So I'm going to say it was just right. And I'm going to say, was there any exercises or anything you found? I'm just going to write the word test. Press submit. So that should come through to the dashboard now. Um, and if you had downloaded the Wix owner app, you would get some pings on your phone. So if we just refresh this, so now when you look at your program, you'll see that there's one participant. If you press manage, it will show you that Dori Aweli is doing exceptional. She's done 100%, so she's up to date with things. If you click on view steps, it will let you see what she's done. It will let you look at the quiz. It will let you look at the answers. Okay, so if there was anything there that stood out um, and there was a reason for you to get in touch, you could just message them directly from the dashboard. And we'd have to go to the inbox. And we could type story out. You know, I saw that you struggled on the squats. Um, you know, do you want to get in touch? Do you want to book an appointment? And this is a really good way to move people onto more premium services. So you could start off with possibly a free program or a very low cost program. Then you could have maybe a more uh, expensive program that goes into more depth. And then maybe you can move them on to your one-to-one -one services or your bigger group programs. So definitely go through this and have a little play about with it. And it's not totally passive um, if you are going to use the engagement uh, features and ways to really connect with your people. So it can be very passive, but I would say to you, Work with your people, get to know them. Anybody who does join a program, don't make it radio silence till they get to the end. Now, other things that you can do are add rewards. They're not very um, enticing, but you can give everybody a little certificate. So if you click create certificate, it's going to open up an editor where you can sign a very pretty certificate. You can give them little badges. Um, if you use the group function, so where you have groups on your website where people can comment and post on other um, members of that group's posts or comments, a bit like Facebook or Instagram, if you use that feature, then including badges can be cool because they can see that, oh, Susie's gone through this particular program. So that, that becomes useful there. And this is where you would connect a group. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to, I think you first of all, I'll, I'll cover it later on in the program, but first of all, you're going to have to install the group feature, the group app on your website. So I'd start off with the basics, just getting to understand how you want your group programs to run and thinking of some really great programs that are going to do well with your target market.